Cheese Boys, Cheese Girls, and the Cheese Gang. You are now listening to Popcorn and Cheese. Popcorn and Cheese, call boy boy like friends like PlayStation. What? I get no get out. I yeah. Robo We motivate, then we laugh as well. Stay on brand, never hard to sell. Got real chats, na my LOL. So we both got gang and we blessed as hell. See a dala story. Pets and I'm a guest, and nice and moy. You and I'm a bundles, not of joy. Said it's in pop pops and robot boys. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Call you one boy like friends like these. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Call you one boy like friends like these. Popcorn and cheese. Episode two. Yeah. Yo, you know when you don't know if you wanna be youth or is a young man. <laughs> yeah. Which one is this one? You know if Super Mario was black. <laughs> had a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I thought Harry Potter. Had a mascot. Mm. Yeah. That jean also looks like it was other jeans before it became that jean. And then the sweater's giving, I'm a student, but the cap is my baby brother. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> He's a young man. Uh, and those glasses are prescription. No, no ways. No jean was worn by guys only around PMS. And yeah. did you see the sneakers? The soles are see-through. Yeah, it's like, I don't know if it's You can sneakers. see the under part of his feet. <laughs> He's a soulful guy. <laughs> An open book, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his feet on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, ladies and gentlemen, the cheese boys, cheese girls, and the cheese And gang. the cheese gang, we do apologize for that shoe, Ebon Sang Mukenke, Lidicons. Uh, welcome to a super episode of uh, Popcorn, Popcorn and the Cheeses. Cheese. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, our guest today, rocking a zebra print jersey, is a legend amongst legends. Mm -hmm. But before we introduce him, we want to introduce everyone that is here in the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, behind the microphone, rocking a short pen that's the same height as his underpants. Standard. Please put your digital hands together. Which Help us one? welcome a man who just secured his date for his one-man show. Half man, half amazing, a runner who runs with ostriches in the morning in Walkerville. The one and only, Titi Chumerik, the Barbarian. Jesus. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a man from the South who was a size 11 shoe in grade 8 in mm -hmm. Mondio High. <laughs> Tuffies never used to have that size, but they made an exception for him. It was Tuffest the name of the shoe. Ladies and gentlemen, a man whose nail clipper is much bigger than yours. It gives us great honor and Which pleasure to one? introduce the legend amongst legends. A man who is poetry in motion. Please put your digital hands together. Help us welcome to the stage a man whose six pack and nipples are in line. The one and only Robert <laughs> the Boy. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, on the far left, the leader of all leaderships, the captain who steers us to the right direction, all-round entertainer, stand-up comedian, but he's sitting down so that you can understand him. Looking like after the shoot, he's going to do Flavortron promotions, Estratini, the one and only president of the Yellow Bones, looking greener than ever, like the highlight Which in your space fight? case, Mr. Mpopops, oh Morikwane! <laughs> Barry Green means go, go get it, Mo Fire. This is what happens. This tracksuit was actually white. Mara was drinking Mo Fire this morning and it spilled on me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> In the seat today, ladies and gentlemen, a man who burst on the entertainment scene with dreadlocks hey. and has eventually moved on and sold them 
to Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it gives us great honor and pleasure to introduce comedy legend. Genius. <laughs> Some know him as Tips. Others know him as Tapelo. Many know him as Shampoo Nizer. Ladies and gentlemen, Pretoria's finest. Mm -hmm. Please put your digital hands together. Help us welcome the one and only Tim. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you. Thank one you, of the thank most you, thank you. requested guests. Yeah, yeah. If, you, really? if you read our comments. Yeah, most yeah. of the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would Sirius. be a great episode. Guys, this was yeah. nice, no. but when is Man, shampoo, when is shampoo? Mm. Sirius, no, no, no. Tips. Thank you very much for requesting me. I'm yeah. here, and thank you very much for giving me an opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, because you know the difference, King. You know Pops, the fan at Pops, let's go. Completely different. Pops, 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 hey, buddy. How are you? How's the asparagus? You know, when I when I defend it, they let me cool. I'm on a set set. I'm not mad about it. I go enjoy. No, I feel that when I'm hard job, I'm not ready. But I go go shing. Go shing. Go go. Oh, I'm born. Kill it. You're not a medium. The different locations for bullets and garage. Yeah, I'm not mad at it. I'm not getting any. Like I'm more a shopper engine. But I'm put some at work. That's why I'm petrol. Not ready. But I go go. I'm not getting. Go pet. Go go shing. What ramen? Yeah, I'm pay high five. I'm a roti salad. Just straight. I'm pay high five. <laughs> so it's, it's different, the difference, but you know, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm integrating. I'm integrating. Shampoonizer. <laughs> Shampoonizer. Yeah. Nice. We're loving the English, brother. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. Articulating I'm articulating Yeah, yeah. No, no. If you, if you watch like a lot of Friday action night, man, you pick up things here and there. <laughs> so, so your English is a Friday action night English? Yeah, some of the months I will burst to flames. It's very good, you know. New level is a double impact. I will burst to flames. You know, it's Antanya and I'm with. <laughs> so, t -t -t so you are in the show, but not in the show. Yeah. Oh, where's yeah. the show where via your knees? Yeah. What is Georgia? A distance learning. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> 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 you have to start somewhere. Exactly, yeah, I know you are still there. Go to it. <laughs> so you, you understand? You yeah. didn't cut this out because I dispose of it. After every month, let's tell a guy, Papa, it's a more register. So they prepare. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> Tips. Yeah. Hey, this could be a problem. Yeah, anyway, so, are we even going to ask questions? Are we going to get a chance to ask questions? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm happy to finally get out of the house. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm always, I'm always chilling in, yeah. at home. Now I'm not, why is I get like that? Yeah. Simply, yeah. and it's not, I'm avoiding anyone. It's just, I just like to chill. Yeah, Rahul. Tips, Mamela uh, Lanchaka. There are people, there are people watching, <laughs> cheese boys, cheese girls, who are watching uh, and they thinking, who is this handsome man with the Pitori accent? Thank you. So those are your cameras. Yep. Um, please tell us who you are. Yep. Full name, Uska. Yeah. Full. The yep. way the government knows you. Sure. Full names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then tell us what it is you do for a living. Yeah. For those who don't know, on social media, but Tapelo Tips Yemise. On my ID, my first name is Moses Tapelo Yemise. I will, I, will, I will plug you on that. I will, I will plug you on that with the Moses thing, because as you can see, I want to meet him because I just had to separate. So I'm Moses Tapelo Yemise. I'm a stand up comedian and uh, yeah, and I'm a, I'm a former uh, dancer. Yeah. Yeah. Former dance. Yeah, I used to. Don't you a talk? I'm, I'm a trained. Point. I'm a trained dancer, like a choreographer. Like I did ballet, contemporary, tap, jazz, yoga, ballet, all, all those things. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. At the best dance school in the country, like no other school can give what we received there. It was called the Somebody's. Johannesburg. Uh, dance uh, foundation. I'll get to so easy. I'll get to so <laughs> Wait, so you trained with so easy? No, 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 no. no. Uh, he was the principal at the school. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's called the Johannesburg Dance Foundation. You know who I, I was I was with Koskolo? Ma. Uh Soldiha's wife, Tamsin. Tamsin? Was a class above me. Oh, so there was white people there? That's why it's cool and it's just home. I went on. Hey, 
Eh, hey, burst into flames. <laughs> <laughs> I just burst into flames. Burst into flames. flames. But yeah, that, that's what, what I do. But so, I'm so more... So trained at Johannesburg? Johannesburg Dance Foundation. Dance Foundation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what, did you do that after school? Like... After you graduated from high school? Yeah, did, did, high, go... did high school. And then, uh, you know, like back in the days, it was not, like information about the TEFSA was not easily accessible. Yeah, and yeah, coming yeah. from the township, there were no role models. So I had to stay home for a few years. <laughs> no, for real, for real, though. This Which is township? the serious Which part. Township? It's Rangkua, Nakarangkua, Opitor. There were no role models, but for real. I just mm. had to choose whether give a pack shop or gazing, gazing. And then I didn't have anything to do. Yeah. And then, uh, one time I was a volunteer. That's where some music comes in. Mm. I was a volunteer at the World Summit of Sust on Sustainable Development. Mm. It was okay. like something big, but negative volunteer. And then, you know, such things, they open with a performance. Yes. So yeah. Yeah. Nata, opening. So Is it for people overseas? No, no, it was here. Okay. It was the World Summit. Like, the, the, it was a big thing. President, so all yeah. the presidents. So I was a tour guide in there. So, so music kept on coming, the dancers are high. And then, that's the link I'm approaching. I'm approaching. I'm so Mara, just for, for emphasis. Oh. So, music. Okay, Kupelo dancer. You know, and then, uh, true story, Ogana Mudisa, he allowed me to come to join the, the dance, Mara. It was not because he saw me as a dancer. Nana Norakiki. <laughs> I wanna oh, stop. He told me now, are you? Yeah, are you gonna rust talk on you? And then, yeah. <laughs> so when you didn't feel like a stalker at the time? Yeah, because I was unstoppable. Remember, it's what I'm going to say. It's what I'm going to say. Straight as the pantula. So now, oh, okay, when I'm going to say, I'm going to pray. But, I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. And then, you know, like, but you knew that you had to do that to get it. Yeah, I get it. First time, I learned like I'm going to life since Sarafin. Mm. And because Sarafin and I sprint, I'm going to <laughs> but he gave, but then he gave me that opportunity. Like I will always credit Somizi for that. Yeah. He gave me that opportunity to jump into the class and see what's going on because I didn't have an understanding of the dance idea. Yeah. And then after a, a while, I thought to myself, Somizi is he comes into the class, he gives you a choreography, you do it lost part. And then that didn't sit well with me in my head. Or what if Dimanu too like a college? Then Refedil. So I got a scholarship for dance at oh, uh, at uh, JDF, where I felt like I don't want to be given moves. I want to create, create moves. moves. And then oh. lucky for me, when I got there, the platform didn't say just dance. It said, you're going to get a diploma in performing arts. Mm. And I said deal. to myself, Sandra. after I graduate here, I could say, Rudy, I want to use my dance experience into something else. Uh, and then I danced for a while and then, jiggy, jiggy, brr, brr, brr. so you think you're funny. So you danced your way into comedy? <laughs> In a way, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, again, why one, eh? Mugyo. Bro, so, yeah. So, growing up, Harankua, yeah. um, you know, there's no, there's no role models. Yeah. You decide to venture into dance. I want to know, where does karate kick in? You. Uh, what hey, school, hey, hey, where hey, does karate kick in? Kick in? I started karate in grade two. Yeah, I was training because co co What's know, the story behind the Bausha Pile? No, no, no. I, no more. My my middle my middle school was co zone seven. Like co rangua the zones are the ngadi za maiga line. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Zone G. Zone G. But tell us after zone six, it's <laughs> zone three. And then after zone three, it's zone seven. Yeah. So next time I was called zone seven. So they walk from zone six to zone seven. Eh, bra bata ubuli ya waswa. Like you'll always have to. Like what the edit zilla did in with a lang. So Naga Jima Garati and I'm like Nakia Fitai. And you've always, had, and you've always had like this like low tone voice. I didn't know that it was low because Nerzoano. Oh, it's only after. Oh, no wonder there's it's no role models. It's only after you grew up and your voice stayed a youth. You're like, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I think maybe Naginal the dreams are because I hope Bella was Sarafin. Naginal was Damanwa. Ah, yeah. No, I think maybe Naginal the dreams are because I hope Bella was Sarafin. Naginal was Damanwa. Wait, were you in the choir? No, I've been kicked out of all the choirs to go school. That's why you joined. Because I was like, 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 I was like
something yeah. and I yeah. I got kicked out of all those things. So yeah, and then I started doing karate all my life and then uh, yeah, it taught me more than fighting. Fighting was the last thing that they taught you there. Mm. Yeah, the discipline, discipline yeah. the discipline, the everything, everything that's outside fighting. Because the fight never, never trap. Even go shop, I go study. But you don't trap, I go gymming. Russo manda when I get takata how shit. Yeah. So, so now you are being bullied on your yeah. way to to school. To school, uh -huh. and I started defending myself, and then I started opening gaps for other people. Remember, I didn't have a leg around. So now who's a mal who's a mal in was three. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Then yeah, but also I never used that in future just to bully people. It was just my way of getting there. And then I did karate all my life. I was then, about to say, because you said I had a reason to defend myself. A yeah. lot of people do things for I want to learn karate so I can fight. Yeah, yeah. Instead yeah. of get the defense part of the whole karate experience. Yeah. And then I was lucky to be like to to excel in the karate space mm -hmm. and you know, so, so how far did you take? Uh, I'm. A, I don't know what we call. Uh, you know, the black belt didn't lead the level. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm more dark black. I'm. I'm. No, uh, I think uh, yeah, inecto black. Yeah, I think inecto black. Inecto. Met black. Yeah, I'm on what we call second then. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm on second then. So yeah, yeah. It's it's it, it's always been so. Even now, when I have some money and I still sponsor the gym. Okay. Go MCA because that's where I was like it, it kept me safe from other things. I had options here over to Zinyana because they did So mm. I chose or let me do karate and then yeah progress. And it was easy to be a dancer coming from a karate background because when you stretch everything, it's mm, just yeah home now. <laughs> so. so now do you remember any specific bully that like altercation maybe a fight? Nyan? Have you ever been? How you solved him? Get to get to expose because I get no. You know what's the problem? Why I won't say? When I lo mung gile ga matrapa, I didn't. Fast forward. Yeah, we gile go bele. When I lo mung sele like gilo akrachi re nde na ara ara go hai mara buda ga osle. Eh. Ebe ke kra buda denger se sele ga spiat. Now I'm with this very nice. Eh, hurry. Yeah, yeah, I'm born out of my own. Yeah, I'm born out of my So, you know, so I don't want to, I don't want to make them. But who do you know? No, 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 Mm. Uh, no, get yeah. it tata, over to get loud. Papa, no. They don't, they don't see it as a. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's crazy. So, so, so you carried on with the uh, with the. Uh, I think you're going the same way. Yeah, yeah same, same WhatsApp group. So this is karate. Yeah. From being a dancer. Yeah. From no karate started first, I guess. Karate. And then. Yes, I yeah. mean dancing. Mm -mm -mm. And then, where do you find comedy in that? The first time I... You always have a funny bone or they had to kick it into... Yeah, I, I always did. Koko Rangua, I used to... It's, it's funny eh? how I used to... I used to run the biggest poetry. Oh. And as... What do you say, Papa? I used to have like a big... <laughs> Which one is this one? Maybe headline. Maybe headline. You know I can write on Papa Buddy, man. He knows. He knows. I like him very much. Do you have a favorite poem? Eh? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. All the time. Ah, why is... Why is... I'm scared of child. You know, like... Remember, in 2015, I went to to US. Yes. Okay, but I learned a lot of gold. And then, on the day we landed, Maya Angelou died. Yeah, man. A whole Maya died. And then... Dad, and then everyone was like, yo, Maya. And then I came back and I looked around South Africans and I'm like, no one is crying. But I knew it's because we have... I don't know, Papa, Papa guy, Oban. I shall tell Maya. Why is the point of Maya? I get everything telling you. I know why I'm getting home on a move film. Maya Angelo, who born in Maya? My mother, me, madam, mama, why Mara? Maya, Maya. Maya, Maya. Or refer to or refer to them Maya. How's NG? Angelina, my mother. Why Mara? Can't the game go in? Maya. Do you know what's crazy? Your voice is that soft, dog. Even my dad's impersonations, you can't get there. Like I can't face. get there. But you know what? I like him. Oh. Wait, it's it oh, a boy. It's a man. I'm a fellow. Oh, 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 I'm my, my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Why, Mara? Mama. Why? Yeah. Yeah. 
Ratama, how's Angie? Angelina, my mother. Why, mother? But what about King? How? But I like him so much. But back to my story. I used to run the biggest poetry house in Pretoria. Yeah. This is called Tips Galo Poetry and Arts House. I never wrote a single poem. I was the host. I just got poets to be under one roof. You under, and then uh, there were groups that were formed and performed under the the soil. Used to come to Pretoria to my poetry and arts house, and they were just three guys. They they used to have something so to and Ziga and uh, yeah, but oh. three. So the they because I'm hosting, oh. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So the, 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 the because I was hosting every week, like every month actually. I think we did it twice a month. They I got to actually you know, kind of play around with words and I would see myself saying things that are funny. Mm. And then the first full set that I ever did was at the auditions. That's why you think you're funny in 2008. But then how does, yeah. how does the poetry translate into you finding comedy I'm uh, the, the auditions? I'm the host. No, no, the auditions. Yeah, uh, that's why you think you're funny. Yeah. I remember, um, I'm, I'm a dancer. I just, I was walking around with Robon, go, 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 and I saw this sign. I'm going to say that David Gao. Then I said, I want to do comedy. And they gave me my number 71. And then I went to Joburg to do my dance hey, class. You remember your number? I remember That's my dope. number, yeah. I, I came back. I was when number I, 10. I yeah. remember mine. I when I came back, I was like, 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 I and they said, okay, we've been giving everyone three minutes to do jokes. Mm. When I get easy that, mm. we're giving you less than a minute. And then I was like, you know what? I'm spontaneous when I'm doing the, the hosting the poetry shows. Uh -huh. Where can I get the gigs? I'm going to this Bonaba. So I just went on to David Gao. And I, you yeah. went for Dave. Yeah, I did. Dave. Dave. I get, I get, so you think you're funny audition? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My 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 gags were about David Gow. I told him, "Where's Kilanta go one in person? Almost as an Ogar and Gilo Averga go fake Trinia di Araga. Yara Badi puta about puta lezo. And then Ntosh was on the floor. Mushidi was on the floor. And that that's how I got in. I dissed Damn. David Gow. And then they're like, okay, come through. You went straight for the main. Straight main's. for David Gow. Because, I mean, I had nothing to lose. I'm number 71. Uh, like, or <sighs> and then, yeah, that's it. Is that the attitude you had about going into comedy? Like, the one or around G, it's fine. No, it was, the attitude came from the way, uh, how I, I, I got eliminated. On the day that I got out of that, I realized... What that, number did you get eliminated? Uh, it was me and Ted's. So it was... Six and seven, seven and eight. Seven top and top eight. seven okay, and eight. Okay, okay. So yeah, I came to was, seeing him and Ted at the same time. At the same time. Yeah. We were eliminated at the same time. Yeah. So that day I, f I felt like I promised myself I will never compete with comedy ever again. Because first time I had that feeling of looking at the audience, how they felt when we were telling jokes. And mm. I'm like, this is not something to compete with. This feeling is for you. To mm. give out. You know what I'm saying? Joyful. And yeah. After I got eliminated, I looked at the camera and said, guys, you see this face? You're going to see it again. I think I remember. You did that on TV, right? Yeah. I think I think I, I remember that. Yeah. Specific, it was at the end of the show. Yeah. I said, yeah. you'll see this face again. And I started going to every comedy. I started going to Murulasa. And then Murulasa. <laughs> apparently, Murulasa was a rough, 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 rough. And then, yeah, yeah I've, I'm, I'm lucky to, to, to safely say I've never died in Murulasa. But, but that's where people Shapamo. that's where people died. Like you easily We used to go peace. to Murula San yeah. to die. Yeah. We would go, things are going too well. Mm. Some comedy to die. Yeah. yeah, you know when you've had like you're on a you're on a roll, you've done 12 gigs and you've killed. Yeah. And you're like, no, no, no. This is I need something that's gonna bring me back to humble reality. you. Ah, we used to jump in Toles Mo's Mini Cooper. <laughs> And go die. <laughs> Toilet's most mini Cooper. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we used to yeah. jump in that blue mini Cooper and go to Murula San. And yeah. that's the thing with Murula San yeah. is you would you would either have the best show ever in the world mm. or you would die. Like yeah. extremes. Or someone will come on stage while you're performing and sit here and face the audience and start talking with people. Now you're there talking. <laughs> Were you there at Murula San when Ronnie Mudumula had to uh, discipline 
somebody. Yeah. Please walk us through that fateful night. Hectic. No, it was comedy show, and then Jiggy Jiggy, you are there, and then the comedian is on stage telling jokes. Jiggy Jiggy Ronnie's at the back coming there. Like, okay, maybe they're going to do a duet. Next thing, some book. <laughs> Next Shabba, thing, Shambok. Shambok, oh, I'm a Shambok. I'm a Shambok. Yeah. Shambok, I'm like, eh. So please no. give us context. What was happening? Why did Ronnie pull up? Apparently, I'm going to just say that apparently salesmen stole Ronnie's jokes. Ronnie mm. didn't like it, and Ronnie just Shamboked him. Jiggy, Jiggy, two weeks later, they are doing a show together. <laughs> Marketing. Which one is this one? That's crazy. What was going through your mind when you saw the first sham like hit? It was you know when you when you think it's part of a set. You're yeah. thinking, ah, oh, maybe what did the comedian? Anything that happens yeah. on comedy on a comedy Were you stage, there as you well? think? No, I wasn't there, but I was there the night Russ decided to sleep on stage. I was, I was, I was. What front front row? Front row, like mm -hmm. watching him like this. You know what joke he told? He told one joke. He was there, and like anyone from Soweto. He's like, yes, like that's why I left. And then he slept. <laughs> and then he slept on, on stage. The floor. And the audience thought it was a gag. Yeah. Only after we heard the first... You're like, hey, man, what's going on? What? I'm so confused. He slept on stage. Ras Mudimula came on, made that one... Mudimula? Ronnie Mudimula's younger brother. Yo! Which is the one who's there? Yeah, no, I'm Rula, no, I'm not. Murula, Murula, when you lose the vote, Trevor Gumbi got beat up. Get about my trap. Nine, like nine. The Be audience. Yeah, before you guys came through. Remember mm. when when you guys come in go muruba ne go go murula ne le venue ba bizar le tabo. Yes. Gilo abare ungo bar ke razus. So the stage is here and the people are right here. Hey, these areas are kupite. They sound like street fighter people. Razus. Razus. Yeah. Merula. And then they trap them. Razus. I'm a tsara ga buruku da varusi. Abu. Crowding. Hey. Yo. Yeah. Ne le joke ngwa is those slow slow banana jokes. Where you say then then nothing happens and then, and then they slowly. laughs. Little from there. I would say I'm I'm cheering one. Hello, babe. You're beautiful, eh? That's not as I'm a little grigamba. Yo. And then we all looked at the grigamba and we're like, no, <laughs> I think you have a point. <laughs> but then the grigamba I'm a top. And then and then the grigamba I would draw what say you. Oh, and then he gave us yeah, yeah. and then he gave us something to laugh about. <laughs> <laughs> that time I don't know him well. Gumbi and Gazma this Gazma defend them. Like, yo man, you mess with the Grigamba, you get Grigamba. There you go, man. That's your passport. Like, yo, you're so quick, like on your feet, King, and like your level of improvising is like amazing. What do you think is the like, oh, I'm trying to find this question. Yeah. Do you apply that in everything you do in terms of being quick on your feet? And how has that actually helped you? Because now you ventured from yeah. everything we know into the sports. Yeah, Pr Pretoria is the funniest place in the country. Mm. Yeah. There are more, I, I actually, there are yeah. funnier people than me there. And I, I, I sponge off them. Mm. So, go Pretoria, if you don't know how to defend yourself by yeah. having comebacks, Lebanya na baadhi mbata ubi yako plege nyaha. Yeah. Mbata ubi yako plege nyaha. Sorry, my babies inge inge. King, wana metheni tewa tando mbiza baby baby. Yo. So you 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 have to always be able to just quick quick quick. But it's it's and they inspire me. People who go Pretoria, you know, they people have very little, but their energy, their attitude, their happiness is beyond the money. Yeah. So mm. I always sponge of them. So even when I'm doing. Like I'm going on a, on a, on stage somewhere where I feel like this crowd, it bury its heart. I'm always applying the Pretoria thing. Yeah, hurry. You know what, gents? No matter what happens, you're gonna get a piece of me. I don't care if I'm doing nine gags. If you laugh at two, get sharp. You're gonna get the best of me. So I'm 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 always carrying that everywhere. Hurry. I want to yom balang hundred percent. Like something has to happen. But even the, when you do your Get your gigs like that's the the like at coffee for instance the yeah. one time I did it without 
telling you I was coming and I came and you're yeah, like, no, yeah. jump on. Yeah. And it actually went better than the time where you booked me because <laughs> yeah. I was more prepared that sure, time. Sure, sure, sure. And when preparation didn't work as well as no preparation. Mm. But even the what you said to me after the, the, the gig, I will never forget. You're like, dude, start enjoying what you're doing more. Yeah. Just enjoy. Whatever yeah. you do, just enjoy it. And I, and I feel it with your career. Even when you move around, you're very joyful about everybody. Even when you talk to people, it's, yeah. a, it's a very joyous yeah. celebration. celebration. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it funny how I was the comedian that was opening for, for joyous the, celebration yeah. for a few years? Yeah, we want to ask about <laughs> that. We did the research. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Betu, you, you go into comedy, uh, doesn't work out. Yeah, uh, the, 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 the talent search route, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. doesn't work out. Yeah. How do you then start becoming a comic? Yeah. Um, I was still a dancer then. Mm. So, every time I went to those small comedy clubs, the, 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 the love that I received and the feedback from people were more like, you know, when, when Batuwa Sabay Zimbare, when I did you good, I would have been late, man. How mm. forced the oh, we reward? And that also natural. told me, let me go and try and try and try and try. And then uh, after that year, I started getting calls. Hey, mama, when you go won, you know? And the biggest call I got was from um, Sepo Mokali, Spike Oz. Spike Oz. Spike, Spike Oz, delicious. delicious. He used to run 20 comedy festival. Mm. And he called me and say, hey, Moon, uh, Joe. hey, bro, I don't know you, ne? but this is Sepo Mokali, Spike Oz. Okay. I want you to come and perform at Swanee Comedy Festival. Everyone is talking about you. I don't know what's the vibe. I don't know what's the fuss. Marbaru Abula, I am fit. Come there. Please don't disappoint yourself. Ish. So uh, that, yeah. that yeah. last line was what made me say, you know what? I'm going to go and destroy that stage because he didn't say don't disappoint me. Mm. He said, don't disappoint yourself. Yeah. And I go th- I went there and I just, story. I was performing. <laughs> I think Joey Razdin will tell you. I performed before Kurt Skwonrat. Oh, good. Kurt Skwonrat. Yeah, and yeah. I just destroyed that. I did, and then Seppo was like, Ish, we have another show later. I, can you stay? And then I stayed. And then I performed before Brad David Gow. And then I didn't know. But you know when the crowd is doing it, we want more. Yeah. And then when I left the stage, Uncle. Brad David Gow is there saying, Yeah, I'm fit. I want you at Blacks Only. I'm like, no. <laughs> 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 no, I did that. Um, I was like, no, I was still a dancer. On that same night, I was actually on my way to the airport as a dancer to go and be the African ambassador for dance in Indonesia. So I stayed there for three months. Is he injured? After dancer. getting a standing <laughs> ovation stayed, and an encore. Stayed from, yeah, straight from stage. Like, and I, I left saying, Kabu. When I, when I landed, the following week it was auditioned for So You Think You're Funny Season 2. And then on the auditions, David told me straight that I think this guy is going to win this thing. And then I decided that feeling came back to me that I got when I was competing on the first uh, season that I'm not doing this for competition for competition mm. i want people to feel what i'm feeling here i want people to just stand up and say you know what you made my day mm. and i didn't come back that's why you didn't see me on the on the second because you were supposed to be in yeah, the second i was yeah season, they yeah. they gave me a card to come in and i said i'm not going there and then i opened my show at taliban and then I got... <laughs> You're yeah. right. That's yeah, yeah, I got to like, Dog, all these places. Yeah. Dog. That's when I started my, my own comedy shows. And then, yeah. <laughs> Explosive. On, explosives. And the, yeah, the best thing that... I, I think the, the, the direction I took with my comedy to be a little bit clean and be happy vibes was there was a guy called Taliban after the show who came to me and say, When I sign, today I was going to go and crash my car. Because my companies have fallen, my woman is leaving me, and I was going to kill myself. But the way you are joking about poverty and having nothing and making it look fashionable, I've decided that, you know what, I'm going to just watch comedy. And that was my moment that said, this is it. This is what I'm doing now. So it's because people are telling me things. I'm still getting that. I'm still having someone go coffee who was like, I'm going to finish this bottle and see what happens with me. (laughs) And because of the way, that's why when I'm talking on stage, my jokes are filled with 
real things. I'm still, yeah. I'm still telling people. I'm still trying to inspire. That's why I always tell people the car of the car that I'm driving, so that kids should not be ashamed to drive a car like mine, like a two door, two seater. <laughs> two door. Yeah, it's a two door. Two Which seater. one is this one? Drop top. <laughs> Ford Bantam. Oh, oh. Ah. So, oh that room. Yeah, that lead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that lead is hard. So, I mean, really, I mean, I'm good. If a driver while track receives a good one, <laughs> same place. Hang out like before and about two sun napping. Actually, you just, you're just still gonna wait, yeah. you know. But oh, I'm, I'm just teaching kids how not to be ashamed of what you have. You know, yeah. you you sometimes ban ban nasor. Hey, what's your meter? Got the driver, the GTI. They're saying, yeah, my rofit. Yeah. That's why I always tell people in the comedy club, if you drive a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, a comedy club, you are as relevant as the nearest parking spot. Mm. So, this is where we are sponging and, and getting very, very feeder comedy. Mm. And then, Ratsi are high, then, Otarila Range Rover, how it's here. Then, that's it. That's, that's where my comedy is going. Oh, I dig that, bro. That is oh, so dope. Oh, I dig oh, that. Man. Yeah. So, Mbetu, tell me, in this yeah. in this comedy journey of yours, right, you start Taliban. Mm. Uh, Taliban. You, you, you refused being on Blacks Only. Yeah. Because you were going to dance. save your last dance. Yes. And I then, <laughs> when you were in Indonesia, did you know, Khur, this is... Did you almost have this mindset, yeah, Khur, this is my last time dancing? Uh, no, no, no. There's I was a not... career waiting for Not, me not this is my last time dancing. I said, I'm a performer. You know what? Who knows this thing? Why isn't he in triple threat? Yes. Mm. He can dance, yeah. dance, sing, oh, act. Sorry, what, what, what? Nine. Triple nine. Hey, what's the one? What's the one? Dance, sing, act. So I thought I was going to do everything because I loved, I, I wanted to be go African footprint. Oh. But what, what is that? Oscar Warad did. Of course, get little talents is a more a matter of six. It's a theater production. Oh, but there was Pantula, like there was everything, pa- dance, yeah, Pantula, uh, Gambut, yeah, everything. Yeah. But it was mostly about African, and I was too skinny for it. Mm. As well, because remember the portrayal of an African body. It's like masculine and what, what, what. But I knew all the moves, tap and all that. But I, I, I thought I can still dance and still do comedy. Mm. So when I came back, I'm like, let me put more energy on the comedy because I'm still introducing myself to people. Yes. Mm. And then uh, the dance world was just easy. It was like, and then it was, the, the money was not making sense. So you've got all mm. these mm. roles and responsibilities at the time, right? Um, the money doesn't make sense. Uh, I only heard that now. Hey, oh, hey. <laughs> so, so you talk about also wanting to be a triple threat, yeah. Which you became, because in your comedy journey, boom! All of a sudden, you've written a script. Yeah. Right. You <laughs> yeah. write a script. Yeah. Uh, for um, Zanzi Magic Biscope. Yeah. Um, Taxi Ride yes. is the name of the movie. I think it's on YouTube. It's surpassed a million views by now, and more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it played on Zanzi Magic. Zanzi Magic, yeah. You wrote the script and created the character Shampoonaiza. Yes. Which is yes. where the name yeah. Shampoonaiza comes from. from. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But you know what, ne? Didi. Kitlo un samata wing here, Popsy. And then kilo the information, elefatele say yiti. When I was writing Taxi Ride, Mpo Pops was writing a porn movie. <laughs> <laughs> he had everything, everything on lock. The porn move, I'll give you the name. He had the Atta that's one Zigan Zilla David Defitler, eh? Brad Dave Wedzi gets weary, eh? Can a lady actor? He said, I get weary the actor, red weary ing ing. Can you give up with the Lina la movie? No. Los Boros. Los Boros. Volume one. Volume one. Pops was busy with the porn movie. That means he had like a vision to do more. More. And if more. Volume and one. More. <laughs> yeah. Volume one. Yeah. Right. yeah volume, one. Volume, one. volume two. Yeah. It is a volume plan for <laughs> seven volumes there. I should have. Yeah. Guys, I can explain why. Yeah. Pops, no, I had written a porno. We, we Dude, not even he, he had everything. He had everything. You know when someone are with a little location? Ah! Oh. Mabone. But now I'm going to get to the house. 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 And I personally did blind. I swear, I'm blind. 
Like that was Can one of research, one research before Bra, that. That was mm. one of the hardest thing mm. I've ever heard. Hard, get that. But yeah. Mm. Yeah. So oh. it was, it was, yo, wait, 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 wait. Before, wait. before oh. you lost mm. Boros, man. Okay. Let me tell you why I wrote Lost wow. Boros. Pops. I wrote Lost Boros because uh Mapona Volume One had come out. Okay. Uh, and that was South Africa's first ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't no. forget, I've always been into production. Yeah, no, inspire. Yeah. yeah. No, more so, like Mapona that. Volume 1 yes. yeah. sold... Because at the time, we we had put out DVD. Triple O, the comedy DVD, yes. right? We had put out a comedy DVD with myself, Thomas Gumete, Toles Mo, Lise Simon called Triple O. And we were struggling to... So we used to sell DVDs at the show. Then Mapona Volume 1 came out, ne? And within three months, they had sold 50,000 DVDs, Samapuna Volume 1. <laughs> and that, that, that's yeah. over a million rand that that movie mm-hmm. made back then, right? So and I like, was like, no, hold on. Oh I want to eat. Right? Gross. And then obviously I, I watched Mapuna just to see. For ah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, there's no way. I even have a gag about Mapuna. Yes, it, yes. it was... It was you bought a, and watched Mapuna. Don't say it, just what. It was it was produced mm. badly. It was Both. terribly produced, yeah. right? How, how, how much of Mapuna did you watch? The whole thing? Yeah. I get, For I research get, purposes, I had to make sure that I see how it's put together. But you watched uh, it in increments, ne? I, I four minutes, the, four minutes. No, I watched the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, ma, so Mapuna is, is one of those you can't even watch and then you stop. You kind of watch the whole thing because you're like... Is it? Because it's it's bad. It's not a. It doesn't engage you in the way that it should, mm. right? Um, yeah. so the production quality wasn't great on Mapuna. Okay. How should it? How should it? Yeah. But then, but then, if you're watching a regular thing within three minutes, you should be like, I, I'm done. I'll but carry if we're, on if we're different, if <laughs> <laughs> you don't have the strength anymore, <laughs> if that's your way of defending Los Boros, no, 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 we, are, so, we are getting lost here. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> so Mapu, like the first scene in Mapuna is uh, a guy. A guy comes. Uh, a guy comes home Pops. after work. His, his, his girlfriend is washing the dishes. Mm. There's no soap in the water that she's washing the dishes. Yeah. Mm. So she's washing clean dishes yeah. in clear water. Yeah. And then he comes home and then she goes, hi, babe. And he yeah. goes, hi, love. <laughs> and, then she, and then the guy goes, the, the, the lady goes, are you thirsty, my love? Yeah. Goes, yes, I would love a glass of milk. She opens the fridge and takes out a glass of milk. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, there's there's a glass of milk <laughs> in the fridge. No. Bad production. No, no, no. So, porn is not about the production. Exactly. I mean, porn is not about the production. Porn is just like Don't when you take a one night stand to the garage and saying you're going to buy biscuits. So you guys watch you these things. You get what I'm saying? You meet a girl at the club, you stop and say I'm going to buy biscuits at the o'clock in the morning. That's porn for you. Porn, the story is just suggesting, but we all know where we are going. <laughs> oh, so what I did with, okay. with Los Boros is I created a, a uniquely South African narrative. Who was your cast? That had yeah. Uh, there were people. Yeah. <laughs> Do you still know so, these people? I still one day, one day. No. So when we when we do an episode when it's just the three of us, please remind me. I will tell you the script of Los Boros. of, of Los Boros because it's actually it's a written out script, and it's so South African and unique in terms of diversity and culture. It's just wow. each scene would end up as a thing, but the storyline. It's a storyline. It's a yeah. movie that just happens to have. So when when you're watching porn, you're like, there's no representation here. Yes. <laughs> I'm not like, where's the, out, the dates on Mkhodu Mondays? <laughs> <laughs> so then, so then, so then David yeah. Gao yeah. and Chris Forrest sat me down and they were like, look, this is a great script, but are you sure you want to attach your name? Because this is going to be forever. 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 Like, like the internet never forgets. Yeah, because yeah. now, when I was young, like you were, you were a more clean yeah. comedian, right? Yeah. When yeah. I was young, a uh, younger comic, I was like very edgy, very, I wasn't Trevor Gumby hectic, yeah. but I was hectic in my ideas and and I would swear a lot wild, more on stage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, was, I was more wild in my ideas, right? And I always wanted to do things for the purpose of pushing the envelope. And I wasn't worried about this or that or whatever. Mm-hmm. So that's why I had that idea. But when Dave and Chris had, had the chat with me about longevity, then like, whatever longevity, you do, long this thing will... So, I mean, lost Voros. Lost. Yeah. Yes. So yes, back to now that idea your is movie lost. that never had any Voros. <laughs> yeah, 1.3 million on, yeah. on YouTube. Are you making that money? Am I? From that movie. From that movie. Yeah. Yeah, someone is. So... <laughs> <laughs> 
Who's that someone? Is it you? Do you like the Baza Makuaj? Oh, uh, you, you, saw, you like saw that movie, Mrs. David Gow presents. Yeah. Thank you. So, Ish. we're going to move uh, into the script, how the hey. script mm-hmm. comes about. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, because it's mm-hmm. already politic. Um, the movie was firstly about my journey. I never had a car, remember? Yes. I didn't have a car. So, every time when I get to David Gow's office, Nagin Aldi Chronicles Tako Taxi. Then the ninja story. was like, yo, man, I'm having this thing with Nzanti Magic. Maybe put those ideas on paper. And then Rebono Rita. So, and then most of the time, Nyaupe was 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 new. It was, yeah, it was developing yeah. and bubbling. Nyaupe, yeah. Nyaupe was new. And then I really, I was so frustrated, Kokasi, every time when I have to go somewhere and see a young boy that I know as a clean young man, and then Ali otherwise. Because before Nyaupe, Ibizua Nyaupe. I went, no, for real. There's a boy, I'm, I'm going to name him. There was a boy called Manana. He yeah. was my younger brother's friend. Yeah. And then he was like the first Nyaupist. Like, and I used to, where they were well off and fine and what, what. So, when I saw him asking me for money, I thought he was playing a game. Because mm. he was not to be able to do it. He not to love it. story. not to be able to to <laughs> but to create the character out of the Nyaupe thing was uh, more to create awareness. awareness. Kukasi to yes. say, awareness. parents, yes. this Nyaupe will grow as long as you are not taking care of these boys. Because mm. it's your responsibility. This person at home Nyaupe, since I don't know how to do it, I don't know how to do it. I mean, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I'm showing you stage five. From Marga or Geluna, get the season three. You know, you as a parent, you should know. You should know that Marwa no got a SLA. Yeah. Got a bamut loony. So I put True. that character in, in, like, I put that into the character mm. so the parents could start seeing her Mara. Wow, got an Alisha and Puga And I made him so carefree mm. that everyone should see her. There's something wrong with this guy. And then the name shampoo comes from when I love to go kasi ke hotse ale ele trinkonyan abana baba ba hafanyan ah that's why get pitori is the finest yeah ba hafanyan ba ke shampoo ko kasi yak di hafi all the time ho ho ya kwa le ba o tlo go beta o tlo kuno pa gastine he never did that with me he would actually walk with me so I would have conversations with Shambu, who's supposed mm-hmm. to be so crazy. He was the only dude that she's... Yeah. That I was... But yeah, they say like-minded people. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to mm. just name this character. No, they say like-minded people. But yeah, but, but yeah. And you know, like, uh-huh. we're on the street, Gore, he got crazy because he was too intelligent. So say like-minded again. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Shambu, the Shambu Naiza. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I took yeah, that character and then I... Intelligence applied immediately. <laughs> so I infused that and then I said to myself, you know what, all the crazy things that I see, Mopitori, I'm going to apply them into mm. this character and then I don't want to fight in this movie. Let me just make Shambu as someone who loves Karate Mar can do it. That's where you see you saw that scene of man kishapampa mahunkain and all that. So it it's it's more taking Pretoria with me and say, if you can help, if you can fix something here, fix it. Mm. Yeah, sure, I take that. Sure. And that's you using the platforms for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, we didn't know how it's going to blow up, but uh, I remember. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah we didn't. We, we just, we just, and then a uh, choice, DJ choice. Yes, DJ's choice always when we were close to wrapping up. He would always say that and he would annoy everyone. Titi, uh-uh. DJ choice and wrapping up. Uh. Boy, it's what I need. Titi, like, I, was waiting, I was waiting for someone to catch you. Would you be open to auditioning? One more, and then. We'll talk yeah. after this. Uh, yeah. Open to Yeah, so he always, he always came to me. Arre. And to a bargain. 
you know when you are underestimating yourself, this shampoo character is gonna <laughs> blow up. But I would always just listen to him because Kichomia David, the, you know. And, but he did that so many times that even on the day of the premiere, you know, Take the Ride premiered on April Fool. On the 1st of April? Yeah. Did they think it was a joke or you were? It was. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Choice always said that. And, uh, yeah, then the Facebooks and what that started trending. And the good thing about the movie was you and Boss Kumba and everything were given free roles. I don't mm. think, even when we were like putting a pops there, there was no pops is going to say this, this, this. Mm, it was pops. like, it's just going to pop up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, literally, but that was my character. Yeah. I would just yeah. pop out of nowhere yeah. and yeah. sell stuff. Yeah. yeah. But so I feel like that's like the most cool amazing the work, job. especially yeah. in comedy. Yeah. The most amazing work, especially in South African comedy, yeah. comes from situations like that where yeah. you allow for somebody to be themselves. And I think that's, something that you create a lot. Your platforms are like something that even me as an English actor, like a more model C or whatever they would yeah, perceive yeah. of me. Like you, you encourage the people to be themselves other than being funny. Even more than funny, you you say, be yourself first and then find, find like, everything else. We our, our parents used to work where they didn't enjoy what they were doing. Mm. They used to go to the kitchen, Nida. And work for people they don't like. And now you're generous. And then we can't. Is. We can't be doing that. We have fun and produce. Like we're just giving the world what we always wanted to. So every time when someone wants to be on stage with me, the first word is, do you like this thing? Is it going to be fun? And then then you can be on my stage. So for me, I'm, I'm addressing so many <laughs> things in my own ways, you know, and I'm, I'm just trying to get people to understand that I, if I want to, if I wanted to have a nickname, I was going to call myself a vibe. A what? A vibe. A vibe. A vibe. Because I want people around me to be having a positive, like a vibe that's mm -hmm. just positive. Even when we don't have money, Joe, we should be vibing like the money's coming tomorrow. Uh, sure. You understand? Because this yeah. content, the things that I'm saying here are free. I don't need money to, to come up with words. Mm. So why don't we just follow on to that let's let's throw that yeah. let's you know yeah, so that's, that's why like that. no, yeah that's nah, good yeah love that bro and 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 i remember because you've always stood Jesus. by this i remember there was a time when i i think you used to call them the standing ovations or something yeah yeah, yeah there was yeah. a time where where and and now that we're having this conversation it makes so much sense when you talk about the fact that you never saw comedy as a competitive sport when there was an era where the standing ovations thing started becoming an yeah. issue. Like, you. Yeah. Yeah. like guys were like, I'm going to come and yeah. I'm, I have to get a standing ovation. And then you were the first openly uh, like vocal people about the fact that we're not trying to, especially with your shows, you're like, I'm not trying to do standing ovations thing. Mm. I want you to come have a good time, right? Because comedy mm -hmm. went through a, a period when yeah. I think it was the Blacks Only mm -hmm. phase when yeah. Blacks Only was at the at the height of 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 its of its um, yeah. fame, yeah. where it the mo was to get a standing yeah. ovation, yeah. And yeah. everyone, it, it's almost like it's weird because we're talking about comedy, mm. but comedians started becoming these aggressive performers. Yeah. Yep, right. Yeah. So yeah. like over, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We came in that era, yeah. 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 And so. it was like it, you have to get a standing mm -hmm. ovation, and even the way you did your material, it had to kill. And what that did, uh, and also, uh, you know, I'm 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 part of the whole thing mm. where where you you would only be obsessed with killing. But you wouldn't enjoy love the craft yeah. what you would yeah. and build. Them. You know what I yeah. did at one blacks only? I had a I had a joke, yeah. Yeah, when a young big guy was working at a call center. Mm. Mm. And <laughs> like that joke, everyone in back, backstage knew that this is a killer gag. And then when I closed the first time with it, the room was just shaking. You, 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 the nyaupe gag. And then the next blacks only. I got the, when they were like, yo, yo, tips, when you close with that gag, ne, it's going to be amazing. And then I got on stage and I opened with it. Because. And there was panic it was, backstage. But people were just on the floor and everyone was like, shit. Ben, we are guy after them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to end this call? Yeah. But in, <laughs> my, this call head, in my head, I was like, I want to enjoy myself. Yeah. I'm going to remove this element, in, uh, this elephant in the room. Yes. And then let me show you guys yes. that I got like a jugu one. Yes. Can I leave it yeah. Yeah. And then when I finished, yeah. I had another gag that yeah. was like, 
boom. Another killer. And then I left and I said to myself, I didn't even speak to the comedians. I said to myself, well done for coming up with something on stage, executing it the way you want and mm -hmm. getting the reception that you wanted. It was a standing ovation, but I didn't care. Mm. I would have even been fine with people just laughing it off and say, they well done. Vibe. You know? Can can I ask you guys a question? Do you think we're still in the aftermath of that whole killing? Because I don't think there's a lot of content in comedy. Mm -hmm. Like only now I feel like we're accepting a lot more content into comedy. Mm -hmm. Especially like, I don't know if you know, you saw the, the, the newcomer showcase, the Co Cape Town Comedians they don't have like Joburg lifestyle because Joburg lifestyle is kind of South African black culture, mm -hmm. you know, derivative. So they have like a different type of yeah. experience. I mean, they have pet snakes which have no spiritual powers. You yeah. know, it's just yeah. a pet snake. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is the first? People that have pet snakes yeah. have spiritual powers. No, well, I mean, they are accused you, you, of you know, know. monies yeah. and you know, yeah. the snakes. But, yes, but yeah. Yeah, do, you, do you feel like we, we, we are running out of content in comedy? So we tend to circle around the same joke topics. You go comedy in pops, well, well, there, there are generations, bro. There's different gen generations yes. of comedy. Yes. You know, we have the, the pure monade guys, mm. who we thought they are the umbrella guys for, for black comedy. Mm. Mm. The, the Eugene Cosas, the, the Trevors. Trevors. Mm. While they were there, mm. the Pops, the Chris Mapanis, mm. the and Tony then uh, school, when I met the I was I was the I was in Chiron, and then we became friends. Two broke guys. Then we made a conglomerate of broke people. Mm. Me, Skumba, and Tolles Mo. Broke as hell. We're performing was in Churon, and I remember telling them, first time they saw me, I could see in their eyes, these two are plotting to say, this one, this guy's not going to kill here in front of us. Because mm. I got there and I destroyed, because Kiriboni Mlauzi told me about Bambata Kumrulasan and said, I'm coming. Got there, killed, and I saw these guys were back, and then they performed. I came again, killed again. Before they got to that thing, yeah, what are we gonna That's like? Okay. These ninjas here have names. We've always been put on the posters as and many more. Uh, mm. We will run yeah. together and create a name so we can book our own many more and many more. And that's how I met Skumba and Toles, Balikotembiza. And then I told them, when I have something opening, I'll call you. When you have something opening, vice, vice. Call, call me. me. And then there was Chris Mapani in the mix, mm. who was very fast. And then... Amen. <laughs> 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 yeah. And, and jam. So we... we Yeah. And then I think those those generations, we remember we were trying to create the name for ourselves. Yeah. So that we can have our own and many more. So the focus was not to Computer topple these guys. Other. Yeah. We were going to spawn as much as possible. And Take build. everything from those guys and then have our own names. And then the new guys will come and they will find it. Now they want to spawn from us or they want to compete. Mm. Uh. The, the only advice Ronnie Murimula gave me, go Murulasan. Hey, Tibbs, in comedy, you need a few things. You need jokes. You need a phone. You need transport. And you need to be yourself. And that's it. And that's the advice that I give anyone who wants to talk Sinto to me about something. simple that advice is, bro. Just yeah. for You need jokes. Mm -hmm. You need a phone. You need yeah. transport, own transport. Be yourself. And you yeah. need to be yourself. And he said an active phone. He was, he was very specific. Mm. So have, have your phone. Be active there. Let, 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 let us find you. Opportunity means preparation. Yeah. And then that those that's like I'm I'm running by could I can safely tell you that I'm running by a Ronnie Mudimula book of comedy. The Jogu, the Tlaitela. But all these things when they are there, Keshap. And then Nav added the fact that I will only do gigs that makes me feel the way I want to feel. Can I ask, sorry, now that especially now you'll only do gigs that make you feel the way you wanna feel. Yeah. Have you always loved sports? And how did you find that gap? Because that's another big platform that put you on. Yeah. The first time that happened, yeah. it was 
I don't think we're used to it, man. Like sports, yeah. we want to hear people tell us about the game and how the game was yeah. and how the analytics work. Yeah. Mm. And here's a bro busy telling jokes, dissing the players. And it's yeah. like, it's so funny, but like, how did he even get you? Like, yeah. how did that link yeah. come about? Well, and, I, and and to take the name Shampunaza into, into it. Yeah. yeah. That, well, when I, well, when I, if, if, if I believe you go to the if I use the name of the guy, I will go to the I want to like I'm, I'm, I don't want to lie to you. It's 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 uh. Jesus. You know you know when but what about Hulu? Hebara Bella, Bara Torre, Baba Boku, Bara Bara Mudimu. I guess I'm really insane. You know that line. That Mudimu. You, okay, some it's insane. Mudimu. Okay, some it's insane. Yeah, that's cool. Bara, yeah. I give little, you give a lot. You give a lot. Oh, come on. Can move ahead, Yanni. Umpa hang. Dude, I was chilling, minding my own business at home. And then go to ABC, but approach a David Gow and say, dude, we want to have a, 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 a sports show, but we want to add comedy. And David was like, mm-mm. Nagi ridilo zeo, marhona leba fana nyana baba, huna leba shampoo naiz, leba tips, leba skumba, leta la dabona. Mwabana. And then uh, they call me and say, David Gow, we want to put comedy in sports. Uh, do you want to jump in? And I'm like, to go high, eat the village in my China. Let me just make it to my China. That, yeah, my China, keep busy. You know, like all the villages in my China, it's not a subtitle. We get the storylines out. So, would you must out? Yeah, we get the storylines out. Okay, now, Papa, why am I wrong? I'm my weather. But why I got the living? Kimu Jolo did it. Oh, fella. <laughs> so yeah, I went there and then uh, yeah, I, I, then there were four ladies yeah. who were sitting there and say, yo man, if you don't mind trying this thing out, it's fine. I'm like, get try it out. <laughs> but no, it's a show. It's a comedy. And I'm like, okay, sure. And then I went there the following week. Uh, the show was at 10 p.m. And then they introduced me to Thomas Mlambo, Kakora to 10. You met Thomas at quarter to, quarter to ten. ten for sure. You're for going sure, live. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, on. yeah and they're like, yeah, kia na, kia na get get tips, ine. Utabonar u itanga and tips. Tom, Thomas, Yo. like, hey man, how are you? Yeah. So what is the comedy? All right, cool. Uh, let's see. What do you think we should do? I'm like, I can come from the back, and then you will. Come. <laughs> yeah. Well, not that lost for us. <laughs> but I can. I can. Well, if we're talking about lost Voros. you know what I'm saying. So yeah. Uh, Yeah, yeah. Why is it why you look at Thomas? Because uh, I'm doing sport at ten. That thing mm. happened on Soccer Zone. Oh, oh. I was not so there. Oh. And then in Nako Studio, I'm that guy who will do a drip check <laughs> for everyone. I don't okay. want to. But I get my to go and go So you know. So yeah, I met him and. Uh, so wait. So on your show, what you read? Everything. Uh, uh, everything. Bobs. Everything. My, on, like her local show. Remember, like, like, remember on the show <laughs> on Sport at 10, we are, it's not Thomas, it's we are a team. Yes. So I can't let you look otherwise here because we are not competing. The whole team. Yeah. You know, I don't want him to be, to look bad and what, but then it was a Monday. I was not there. Let me give us a give out. Jorge, you rise again. Rise again. You know, so if it was on my show, I would now be having gags about it because mm. I would know what, what mm. came about yeah. it. So yeah. Yeah. Then on the day I spotted ten, Thomas was like, let's see what you can do. And then he's talking to BBK and David. BBK Kibarimba to Gorgeous. He's like the Sunday Times sports editor. Mm. Super serious. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to go David Gagana. It's like it's like the journalist's journalist. Mm -hmm. And then Thomas was like, we're not alone. We are with this guy. And then he didn't know what to call me and say, he said he knows everything. So I'm gonna call him so he can share his knowledge with us. Come come out there. And I, when I come out, I'm like, yeah, man, they I call me shampoo, yes. and then they call me shampoo, they call me this, this, this. And then while he's li listening to that, I went on to Chiefs. I went, I know the first gig, I can tell you now the first I gig I said. I I the this. first gig was when I said, Pirates is the only team that doesn't support disability. Because if you lose one arm, you can't, do the bones. Uh, I remember uh, this. Yes. I was watching this. 
Yeah, but Smart and then dog. it was a very like they were laughing, but there was like a little bit of it was a yeah. you know. And then the the then BBK, remember you have to crack these two. Mm. Yeah, the serious ones. Yeah, the serious ones. Your gags are the serious face yeah. gags. You have to so crack them. Also not sure. Yeah, so BBK looked at me and he started analyzing like because came to serious. Mm. What time did this boy arrive? What behavior we hang around but? Mm. And he saw that. I was dead six for a 10 o'clock show. And then even after the show, I was asking guys, was I too much? Was mm, it? And yeah. then, then the, the feedback was very simple. This is Thomas. Hey, come. Come back next week and do it again. And then mm. I rocked up. And then there was still, then I could see BBK and, 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 and David are getting into there. And then on the fourth episode, there were two superpowers, two high powers who made me comfortable in this. Our guests were Dr. Ivan Koza and no Dr. Kazam Tao. No mm. And then no you know way. what they said to me that day? Antoine, I don't know what I'm Somebody sends up a tweet. Here, yeah? I don't know what But then, and then I took a vow, and I was like, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to diss all the players, but I will never joke about the chairman that the team. Dr. Kizam Taun, Dr. Ivan Koza, Dr. Petris Mutsi, because you guys are the chairman of the Andilim Pisan. Come on. Come on, I'm an account of Edgar's. Come on. I'm saying, I'm an account of Edgar's. I just see, I just see, he was not there when, when back in the days growing up when I was the remote control. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right? yeah. Yeah. So two, you know. Two so I, I know, only. I so I only. The, yeah. And then this, after I heard words from these two, to myself, I said, I will joke responsibly. Mm. Draw the line. Know that because if you don't know, you'll think I hate Kaiser Chiefs until Pirates loses. Then Gimo Pirates. <laughs> yes. Until so the 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 the, the thing again was in Gori, lose with mm. a Win, I will praise you. And unfortunately, Chiefs hasn't gotten a chance to be praised <laughs> in a very long time. <laughs> but, yeah, Papa Wawa has been twerking, eh? <laughs> in a very long time. It's not my fault. Yeah. yeah. So, but uh, Thomas, I've, like these these three guys have have like what I've learned from them. Go is ABC. Mm. Also worked with comedy. Mm. I stopped when I saw the pops. Saw all the comedians. I always saw them as work in progress. For these people are allowed to make their own mistakes. Mm. I shouldn't be a red pen and na. Hey, give one us kumba gere infetiyazi when I got to gan. Hey, give one a mama mama. I should always find a way to just flow with the guys. Sure. And then when I get a chance to sit with one of them at the corner, then maybe. give him some tips or impinch. Lugisa nyana i. Arzo elipeli. So Thomas Mlambo has played a very big role in how I behave, even in corporate spaces. Mm. Thomas will come, koshong, and then ebebare. We're not shooting now. We're shooting in the next two hours. And then he will come to me and say, come, we're already here. You can't be here throwing throw tantrums. Sorry. He too, I say, we are here, we are here. Let's work. <laughs> no, but, so just, just, just no air. Yeah. And then uh, David... I came, love that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's, it's a very hard pill to swallow because there's always such, such people. And then David Kekana always told me... <laughs> yeah, swallow, right? So David Kekana taught me something as well. <laughs> Even I repeat it. Thomas yeah. Mlambo is the presenter. BBK and David are the analysts and what what. But once show EC told me, all those titles fall off. Mm. We work together to bring a beautiful show. Mm -hmm. If you get there and you find a guest can come oh, and then on a little transport, though, and I know if it's a mid rent, don't say you can sponsor David Giga. Mm. Pick up that guest. Bring him there. Let's produce a big show together. Mm. Yeah. And that thing you remove a title layer how to make something work has always helped me. That's why if you come to my shows, you'll see me doing everything at the same time. Mm. I wanna, the first time I thought yeah. you were not going to pay me. Yeah. Because I saw you do the door. I was like, You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're the book then, is doing the door. You know what I'm saying? Cause the blue. I'm, yeah. But <laughs> I, also, I it's not that. because yeah. I'm trying to do all the all the work. I'm just, I just want everyone to look good. Yeah. Even the guy at the door, I didn't say, why was he He's not there. He's probably doing something else. Mm. 
if I'm not doing anything, I have an opportunity to be at the door and then be the yeah. door guy. So, yeah, That's and then I'm Mudi Mushwile, I'm blessed. I'm, well, I'm working outside comedy. I'm working with good companies that are making sure that I'm I'm having other things to do. You can't just depend on comedy money. Mm. So, yeah, I'm surrounded by good people. I'm surrounded by, by a funeral parlor. You know that? Uh-uh. Like I work with una, a few. Una the my casket. Hey, Simbia. Hey, come on, take a yeah. Double quilted velvet. Yeah, Ropella. Give me your robe. Hot. He did it. It's Linda for Capilla. Wow. Bra. Bullish windows. You wish you were dead. Yeah. I'm taking you, Swami. Let me make a casket. You go pulling. Yeah. Take line at the Habash. What did you get? Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, <laughs> so, such genius yeah, so I've learned it. I've, I've, I've learned my 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 whatever to like. I work with a with a funeral parlor in in a, in a way. Yahore, not the funeral part, but the issue. Yahore, we artists. This thing I told Anzir Nyagan lead donation. Er talk of it should stop. Yeah, you know, I get an er no lim not repeal. So why don't we just try and have something? Yeah, Mm. You know that funeral, that cool funeral parlor that buried Bo Shona Ferguson. It's yes. called Broody Funeral Parlor. Yeah. So I'm Broody. working with Broody. Broody. That's Bro- such a weird name to yes, call a funeral parlor. But it's the only Broody. one. Broody. Didn't they? Did, <laughs> <laughs> Broody is creating things that are alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's Didn't Broody. They also, yeah. Uh, and then uh, for I work. David's funeral uh, as well, no? Eh? Was it Broody? Yeah. Yeah. David. Yes. David. David. Uh, you know, like David yeah. Kekana. And then uh, I also work with. Uh, I, 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 Sometimes we go to podcasting when you go to him or we own a hotel. So we don't own a hotel. I work with people who own a hotel in Sentin. I have people from Venda who are called the Farm Group. They have like own bonanzigar Venda Venda. There's a resort, five star resorts that are, that's called like the the Farm Boutique Guest House. And then there's Dr. Tangunas. Mall, and then on the other side is another guest house. You have one, I the lux. Mm. And then we have a uh, just for people. No, yeah, we you, mara, mara. already cleared yeah. the first part because I mean, now when we're going to be lomo, we was about to I, I, I can't ask you. The next thing good in use, but we said, Oh, no, hotel. So there's a five, yeah. So the Masingita Towers mm. here in 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 uh, Santin. inside there, there's a hotel called Towers Hotel and Spa. And I'm involved with those people just to make sure and to to give black people access to things that we thought were just for rich people. Luxury. Luxury. And then it's not as expensive. So I'm, I just wanted to just give people context. Yeah, hurry. Especially by Anababali Village. Hurry. You see us as the celebrity and what, 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 what. We also have to work mm. and do other things outside what you see us doing. So I'm doing that. I'm also working with a printing company called Mighty Media. I think you've seen you've seen all my banners. They look dope. Yeah. So I, w- I want to plug all these businesses there so that you people can see outside, hurry. We are normal. Mm. We have to fend for ourselves. And the reason why I'm doing all this is I promised myself, I don't know what you need in life when I smoke. Now my mission in life is for my mom to eat what she wants. Mm. Oof, power. That's all I want. If she can say, she should get it now. And then after. So that's why we're doing other things outside what we're doing. But the comedy part, I'm not going to stop Pops. I'm not going to stop Zizi. I'm uh, just going to keep producing yeah, proper comedy yeah. shows. That's why now we are based at Kayalami Chisanyama every first Thursday of the month. And I'm going to give comedians a platform where they can perform for as long as they want, as long as it makes sense to the audience and then it's changing their lives. So sure. I'm on a mission here. I ah, know. Yeah. Ah. Steps already hitting the, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. where does the money yeah. come from? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Where does the money yeah. come yeah. Yeah. from? Yeah. 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 No, we, have to, we have to put it out there. Sometimes yeah. we become so fake Bro, for social would, media that people yeah. are saying money. I, I honestly no. think it's important for people to start disclosing yeah. everything they're involved in, then yeah. their level of involvement. Because yeah. sometimes I feel like on a high level, Inspiration is also not informative sometimes. Yeah. So sometimes I can just say, hey, let me inspire these kids yeah. and by saying I'm involved in all these things. Mm-hmm. But you don't know the level of involvement, the level of effort you have to put in. And sometimes yeah. you can 
Barking, mislead people with your inspirational yeah. story yeah. and now it becomes an oppressive thing instead of inspirational. Yeah. So. I love that you said inspirational. Yeah, uh, you know what? Please, uh, please tell uh, Mr. Mzwake Jr. what TIPS actually stands for. Maya. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, tips, 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 tips stands for, for stands for through inspiration people succeed, yeah. and uh, it's those poetry days, mm-hmm. and then and then the host, you know, and then I looked around and said, you know what, yeah, I'm looking, and then it's what I always preached, go 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 the poetry sessioning as they were doing their poetry and what I was always telling them, well, you know, if you are inspired enough, we will get like poets that will branch out. You know, and be big poets. And we have one, Barke Tosten Ripka. They call him Clear. Perform a level out level, level machine and stuff. So, you know, we're proud to say at least they're not really Molamara. Right now, guys, I'm I'm just a stand-up comedian. I'm just an all-round funny guy. And I'm all about good vibes. We yeah. love that, bro. Can I uh, tell you a cool story? Go. Yeah, no, so I would be remiss if I didn't ask this. Please hold yeah, on to that yeah, story. Yeah. I would be remiss if yeah. I didn't ask he, he this. Yeah, I'm remiss. I'm remiss if you don't have a good time. Yeah. Or if you don't have a good time. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for explaining for everyone in Sibuke. Uh, <laughs> I would be remiss if I didn't ask. What happened to the dreadlocks? Okay, the dreadlock. I got. I don't know. It's uh, what a simple question. Ever, ever since you lost them, some comedians suddenly have dreads. Lots, yeah. Because I get an anagi level level lots for us. So, uh. <laughs> no, no, no. It's 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 like I said. Be yourself. I grew older. Hey, hey, hey. Why, hey, boy? No, they can't yeah. be a dreads. Then. So what you do yeah, is. No. You, you don't wait for those days when you have one, yeah. one dread. Yeah. Yeah. So you have Stevie to... Wonder. Rega speed, rega speed mm. in mm. the lady So now I looked at them and said, yeah. you know what? I don't want to force things. And uh, also, I can go fit at all. Because I introduce you to a big I do a lot of music. Who used to work... <laughs> Yeah, ah, I do remember oh, that. Oh, that man, that. <laughs> yeah. Ah, no, there was a blue <laughs> that I know that has that same situation. He's always wear? wearing a hat. Where? Yeah. I don't know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> but he, like, you know, he, one day we had to use his hat for one of the sketches. Yeah, that's what he did. I was like, hey, hey. That's what he did. That's what he did. Hairline is way bad. Hairline is a ponytail. Like, yeah. Oh. No, mm. I, I cut the dress, and here's the funny part. Uh, at go go SABC go sport at ten yes. in 2014. I decided to re- just before shoot. Thomas would say, "Mola, hey, come, how are you, Gria?" And I'm mola prepare. And then I went go make up. The man I make up, and I swear me chin, I got to it again. I got to get now. Ah, I'm sharp at that. You did this before you went live. And then when I got on on, I got bergua, I got. And then I like Thomas, like here he is, the shampoo is and I looked at him like, yeah. He's like, wow. yeah, you cut your hair. I'm like, sure. You know, different hairstyle, same guy. Actually, let's talk. And then jokes, jokes, jokes out. That was the decision. Crazy. You that know? Is crazy. Like, you need to accept yourself, Joe. And yeah. then what did, did you take the dreads? Can you believe that I, I threw them away? Because yeah. I get going to go about the riggies. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, like, those just, dreads you could have My thing was, it, I mean, care. it's time for change, you know? Yeah. Leave everything behind. <laughs> made some cash, time for change. Maraluna. Why it's hard, honey? Oh, I'm not in school. Oh, I'm not in school. I'm not the prefect. No, I'm not in the morning dress. Got you. We said the morning dress. We said the morning tar. Prince Bala, now we're sorry, now we're ringing at you. Le, 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 what are you but but the comedy is where I am right now. Pops will tell you. I will tell you jokes the whole day. The, yeah, the yeah, whole day. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Uh, that that thing, Pops, is also a defense mechanism. Yes. On my same side. Same with me, yeah. I, I I I like people to be I want us to have such good vibes. To avoid being told about other people. I can go easy to reason your own bozazon until I tell you, it will want to say something. Bona bona da manu. Yeah, Rebel Marantala Negumutum, Rebel Legacia, yeah, Rebel Legacia, some good or joy, Chira da Mana Guadillo Natae. No bula free, Janok. Tell it. 
let's laugh about <laughs> let's laugh about such. Yeah, but that's I, like, I, I, like I don't want to get too too much because what's in our politics in Zabatu, Ninimbare, plus Jampunaza are. Mm. I don't want to. I'd rather be known as wait, that man, let's go, who's at all. Then that's it. Because I also have my friends' friends. Mm. Like those friends' friends, give one away and live one, I get them fit. Get better. Go mm. high, one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, and then. I go out there and give you guys the vibes. Mm. That's why if you call me on a Wednesday night or a Wednesday afternoon, you won't find me. It's a Dilla Spot at 10. It's a live show. If I have problems, it will show on TV. But this guy is not himself. So, I'm a China. It's a storyline. By the time 10, 10 Itla, you find a 100% free soul where I'm going to talk freely about Moroga Swalus. What's good? How many years? Yeah, how how old? Yeah, and that's a dope thing to do because being a comedian and someone that gives off good vibes, you always are pouring into other people's cups. So you also getting your cup full by your close friends. Yes, it's something you do regularly so that sing I boy on screen. Yeah, that is crazy. One of my you're the funny you're the story you wanted to share with us, guys. Before yo. When was this? It's left benefit concert. Yeah. I'm booked to perform as a dancer. Guys, I'm robot boy. I'm doing robotics. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, this is a concert that's got musicians, performance, arts. <laughs> My figures are lost. DJ Mapurisa, DJ Spoo's left benefit concert. It's in BC. <laughs> Get there. Glasses. A mix. Two minutes. <laughs> like, step up. <laughs> this is in Tembisa. I'm the only dancer on the whole lineup. And then getting a spoo. Kill it. People are like, oh, that's crazy, you know? But it's dope because one thing about robotics and because I'm inspired by Mad Chat, Mad Chat's statement is when I dance, I want people to question the reality of what they see. Uh. So have you ever seen like something that looks unreal but you're actually seeing it that's mm. the level of yeah, your body like, so. when I go to that level I know my room which I need to tell you didn't I know my man dog come on so anyway so I do that then I get off stage <laughs> crowd applause and I walk away the next thing I heard on the mic was hey yeah ne? that man who drive I got data yo <laughs> The whole thing is a <laughs> Like, that one who drive, I got data. That's the first time I've ever heard that in my history of performing. I turn back, it's this dude yeah. I'm seeing that thing. This is like tw- 20... That's, that's a long time ago. 2017 yeah. or something like that. Yeah, but but also remember how excited I was. Remember, uh, I'm a dancer. Yeah, so you were watching the whole dancer. time. Oh, hey, do you still rock? So, no, no, dance dance is, is, is dude, it's, it's, it's a reflex now. You know, mm. you don't need to. We don't like. We, you just move. You mm. just move. Mm. Like, like I, I enjoy. But I don't know that he or. That, uh, I know, get sharp, get sharp. But yeah. wait, you know when and you. I, and I've never seen you incorporate dance into your like as a dancer. Yeah. I haven't seen you incorporate a lot of it into your comedy. Yeah, it's only when I tell you about someone dancing. Yes. I will. I will show you how he's dancing. But yes, I, I've, I've, I know two gags of yours that have yeah, dancing yeah. in it, and that's it. Yeah, yeah I, I, I love dance so much. Like I, I, I thought. Like my 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 first bargain video yeah dancing go yet. Nearly I saw you know like black or white, yeah, Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. You know there are South Africans then right? from Zoe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In that music video. In that music video. If you see those people dance, the South Africans that's so. And it just told me, ah, must then got feature that's so. But then the money in dance, that's not really, you know, because the, the the most painful experience that I've ever heard as a dancer was when I was giving a dance class in, in at the uh, Museum Africa. And then after the class, all the kids went into their cars. And then I had to run to North. Mm. <laughs> Before the sunset. <laughs> yeah. I had to Damn. run to, to North. You understand? So yeah. in, in my head, it said, you know, I'm, this dance thing is nice, eh? But it seems like life has stopped. Because I'm not progressing. I don't have a car. I don't have this. I don't have... And then I could... Because Sumizi is a dancer, but he makes all of his money not yeah, from dance. Yeah, yeah, but he was very... Yeah, he was very generous to his dancers back then. Mm. Like, I've mm. never heard any dancer. So Mizi, yo, so Mizi short changed me. Actually, give yeah. them more. Yeah. yeah. You, you get what? That's why I'm yeah. still... I'm still... Like, when I mention him, I, I mention him with so much 
give me a good quote. Appreciation. Yes. Because, like, as much as he's so easy, like, you know, people would expect you to say something bad about him. But mm. what do say? Well, if you want me to be controversial, I can be now. Let's like Eddie Thomas. Skumba is gay. Yeah. And then number two. <laughs> Skumba is gay. I got something to tell you about Skumba is gay. Yeah, but now I have some high. I'm feeling when I go. I go to the transport department. Number two, Chris Mapan is dead. Let that edit that. Edit this thing. Just and then what you have to do is you you just put them out there and then yeah. and then hint about the bar. Oh, what they like? Ing 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 ing. And then the following day you'll put up where I'm saying. Come on, I didn't see. Make it that. Because I mean, trendila, 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 trendila. So it's come out of which I'm in pinch shooting gang. It's a high. When I give me two weeks, give me two weeks. Two weeks. One hour. Oh, one hour. Oh, high. Oh, oh, oh. One. So just for controversy, it's come by gay. My partner's dead. Yo. Eh, ke mang ha bogare nga ke motshabenya. Mm. Sen zo cheke ba long ro. No, but la 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 need. But the truth, yeah, need the ash. Yeah. I'm the first ever pops. It's true this one. Yeah. I'm the first ever comedian to book a sangoma at the comedy show. Yo. Uh, tallest. Yeah. Tallest. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> which one is this one? Okay. Mm-hmm. I was there. Man. Togos. Yeah. And Jesus. then, yeah. Can we book a one press? Can you tell me to Togos or the oh. base? <laughs> ah, good thing. Like I think you go. Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember the actual. Yeah. But no, no. I booked them and then I got book a little bit of response and then I tried to get more on stage. You know that. You know that that, that it happened. The, Not the show. I came to the first show. The, the, yeah, there was. Yeah, where you where you cried, but it performed like. Proper that day. Mm. Go, go, yeah, go, go, yeah, go, no, go. That day. Then we were go Empress Palace and then told us got a lot of music about Riz Bamre. Because, oh. because, not for real, because I booked about That's triggered. Yeah, I played that but song. You must ask him the taste of music that he, he likes. People that. Likes. He so liked. Did, did he, did he, and then, yeah, on I, stage? Yeah, because I, I played it and then just for the crowd to sing along with me because I do that a lot. Yeah. with Because I always tell the audience that. Once uh, uh, when we become when Erte and Agodi say we always shy away from things that raised us. Mm, and then Nagi would really good well about Rizwam Rena. So I go regarge wana bona katsaba we dala. So I played it on the show and the whole room was with me. We were like, and then Toles jumped on stage. And then he started singing there with me. And I'm like, hey, Toles, I buy school weeds in Fanak. And <laughs> oh, he still hadn't come on. Yeah, Not I had I, time yeah. to come on. He yeah. hadn't brought him out. Yeah, and then he him. came on stage. And then I realized that, you know what? This guy is in this. I'm not going to disturb him. I'm not going to even stop. And then Baruris Bamrena were there. Part of the guys, Baruris Bamrena, they were at the back. Mm. And then I, 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 as he was singing, as he got to the chorus, I left him on stage. And he didn't stop. Bro. He kept on going. And sing with the song, and then I, I signal to the DJ. Right now I tell Sanya, I tell her, and then the tallest that I saw is not the tallest that was in the room. He was all over the place, didn't know what he was saying. He was mumbling. People just didn't understand what was going. He had to leave the stage, go behind the screen. I already looked a high. What up? What up? What up? What up? I read you lose a high, that was a yo dog. I read you lose a high. And then when he came back, this is so crazy. completely different person. And yeah. then he was he performed well there. And I was like, yo, okay, with that long. And he came to me and said, Fit, Untu said it's a badim. Untu said it's a badim. But it was such a. I don't know, man. It was an experience, you know. Like I, I get easy that and now, now I'm, I'm very, like I get busy. Umukrest. Besides umukrest, they lor kege. You know, now I like people to do their own things. Yeah. You come more when on a little bit what what. Usha pumpinch. Usha involved. Usha lom putari. Usha ya miracle kabushihu. Una lili bridge lili little well. Ah. Kya loe nari. Nari da. Rekono prove di dingo. So I'm not. I'm not negative. <laughs> I'm not negative to it. I'm not what what. I'm just I just want people to be free when they're around me. Do yeah. what they do, Mara. You know, I get in it in a So I was very like it, it was a new experience to me. Or hey, can't they feel a feel music? Oh, and it go a lot because I my mom my mom is part of the the, the, the choir. So yeah. every year I book Baroris Vamrena to go and perform Gohai. 
Ah, oh, that's blazing, bro. Tip. Yeah, I wish yeah. we had Yo, more time. <laughs> I wish we had more time with you. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's yeah. so much to unpack. But, oh, Petu, thank you so much for honoring the invite. Yeah. You yeah. know how long we want it. Yeah. 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 And it's not just us. It's the yeah. cheese, cheese game. game. Yeah. yeah. No, bro, no, no. Every, you can look at all the episodes. Sure. Just look under the comments. Sure. When is Shampoo Nizer coming? No, I could have come here and just made this podcast like a funny thing and just be gagging the whole time, my man. It could have been very easy. I could have just told you jokes until the end. Mm. But I feel like uh, I have two lives. Mm -hmm. My, my 2000, eh, I only, they, they see the movie Shampoo Takes a Ride and Shampoo's Retirement Village now. They don't even know that I'm like this now. Mm -hmm. They don't mm -hmm. even know that I'm a real person. So I had to, at some point, just come here and just show people that, you know, like there's a person behind the character. Mm. There's, there's there's someone who's alive who are white and you know yeah. cause, and it's platforms like this when I know that people are there waiting in awe where you need to actually share a little bit of truth in yana, mula, mula. Yeah. and then yeah yes. let them understand that if you come to my stand up comedy shows that's where I'm in full steam we just do comedy so oh, thank you very much guys what you are doing ah, is, it's is for the world this is one of those episodes where you get scared or something's gonna happen with the footage <laughs> yeah Matthew please yeah every time we've had an episode that this dope <laughs> <laughs> this dope yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> something happens <laughs> yeah so this is this is how beautiful that episode and, and also like like recently I've also started speaking to you a lot yeah, more yeah, and yeah. you've always been the same person that uh, you know that you are right now yeah yeah, yeah. I, yeah, no, no. One day I'm gonna be rich, and you guys, the so far la concrete. Over rich forest. Oh yeah, that's the little ngoba le zaga. I'm gonna, cause now I want money to disappear, not to just show off. Yeah, Kisha, yeah. just Kisha. to disappear. Uh -huh. Yo, tips, man. Thank you so much for joining us today. Appreciate. And it. you know, if there's one thing for it to like, um, that whole thing of through inspiration, people succeed. Yeah. Um, as your comedy brother, I just want to say like you actually have inspired so many of us in the comedy game. And, and I want to thank you for that. I want to thank you for being a pillar of Pretoria comedy, right? Yeah. There's so many things you could, you could have gone and done for yourself, but you've always made sure at the height of anything that was happening in your life that there was always comedy in Pretoria, whether it was Kotaliban. Mm -hmm. And Kotaliban, I've seen people come up, oh boy, pizza. I've seen people, yes, yes, not just yes, comedians. Yes, yes, yes. You know, and uh, you see how sometimes some of my shows are variety. Mm -hmm. I actually get that from Tips. Mm -hmm. Tips is, a, is, is, is one guy who's like, yes, this is a comedy stage, but we can have everyone. Mm -hmm. So I just want to say on behalf of everyone, dog, mm -hmm. uh, that you've worked with along the years that you've put on, thank you. Thank you for being in, an, an inspiration to all of us. You are a living legend. Yeah. Uh, and many people might have slept on you. Yeah. But Rona, more, more popcorn and cheese. Yeah. We have never slept on you. Thank you very much. So as a token of our appreciation, yeah. uh, uh, just as a, a reminder, ah. we at Popcorn and Cheese have never slept on you. Yeah. Uh, Titi asked you this uh, Three minutes into the interview, but we're gonna ask it now <laughs> at the end. Yeah. Have you ever been in a fight? A lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> a lot of fights. Fingu fingu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of fights. Yeah, we used to fight. It's 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 when it's when you started mm. that we stopped fighting because you start banyana about taba usalulebon. Yeah. Wow, I just trained for the love of it. Marukara bagaira nyana tournamente. Because <laughs> those are the people that I want to yeah. fight. If, if it's possible, yeah. I can fight with them all the time. Because how fast I'm only sweetie blind. Suddenly, you know, let's all better, better. Mm. So I understand. So, ah, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. So I love yeah, that. No, no, stop, stop with the fighting, guys. I if love if that. Mwanyana also go disa, there's one way of better Mwanyana. Walk away. Aish. That's the best way of of who he better than Just walk away. Walk away. And then uh, mm. just walk away and find. Well, another. Now, but now, 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 now,
street fighter. <laughs> That's the only way. Yeah. They are more give okay, her proudly. Otherwise, yeah. from that, from the other faith who give women flowers, just mm. treat them well, Joe. If Leonasa is treat the shop, remind her that she's supposed to treat herself well. Yo, shop to dance, everybody. Thank you, thank uh, you. Cheese boys, cheese girls, and the cheese gang. Yeah. What a super special episode. I said so in the beginning, yeah. and we delivered. Uh, before we go, this is the part of the show where we shamelessly plug. Uh, this is Chumeric. You can go first. Yo. You have news. Yeah, I've got big news. It's Ayane. finally happening, guys. Uh-huh. 28th of June. Ah, yes. 28th of June. What's happening? Lyric Theatre. I'm finally doing Lyric Theatre. My first one ever. Tickets are going to be on uh, web tickets. So, yeah, it's finally happened. Shout out to, to Mpo, my, D, my, my manager. He's not on screen right now. He's a vendor man. He's yes. a vendor man, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, thank you so much. Uh, 28th of, Jan- of, 28th of, June, of June. June, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's finally happening. Uh, get your tickets. Um, on the 19th and uh, on the 18th and 19th will be in Kabeja. And then tour dates will be available on all my social medias. But, yeah. Hey, let me, let me, let it's me been speak. a dream of his to do lyric theater. Let me speak he to finally got let me speak to lyric theater and yeah. make it a two day thing because the the 30th of June is my birthday, so maybe I can do 29th of June. Aich. Yeah, and make it a comedy weekend. 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 Comedy Aich. weekend. You yeah, understand? but yeah, because yeah. you'll go. be alone. Let's, go. You know? <laughs> yeah, let's think shop, about shop, it. Let's have it. So what's the reckon the ticket to retouch a playco? We're gonna yeah. make history. We're gonna make the. I promise you, it's going to be something very special. And I'm really grateful for this opportunity for everyone that's involved. And I can't wait. Shapa. Yeah. Shapa. Yeah. Shapisto. Well done. Shapa. I know. Uh, Maya. Uh, I mean, uh, <laughs> are, uh, sorry, the uh, robot. Mpo Pops is dressed as the brand ambassador, Flavortron, more fire out, new music coming out, clean the merch, magic clean all day, every day. And also, this background, these lights, these cameras, streaming studios at our secret location in Parkest near the Shell Garage. Mpo Pops. Very secret. Whether it's streaming or whether it's studios you require. We at Streaming Studios have both. Your postcard, hey, podcasting, hey. Hey. podcasting needs. No, I'm not saying that. Streaming Studios, you don't give the Lama Mike a gas period. Yeah, spirit. Lungi is a lot. Lungi is a slip hard. Hey, Streaming Studios. Nana give you this. I got it. Tracks. We get it. No, 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 Ah, my <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get with that style, bro. Next lime. Ladies and gentlemen, 8th uh, <laughs> of June. Uh, <laughs> tickets are available at Compu Ticket and Pop Ops Birthday Comedy Special at Empress Palace. Tickets are available at Compu Ticket. Um, what else am I forgetting, Deej? Nothing. All right. That's all I want to plug. Uh, yeah. uh, and uh, we are working on an amazing production right now. Uh, myself and Tsitsi Chumerik, the barbaric robot could be in it. We might not know. We might, we might not know. We might not know. Exactly. That's, how, that's how dope the secret is on this show. Uh, so yeah, we are shooting second season of oh, The Masinga. Mas- the Masinga. Yeah, 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 yeah. The mask, the mm. mask, the Masinga. The Masinga. Yeah. yeah, shout out to Rose and Oaks. Shout out to all the judges. Uh, Tello shows is Kumba J something. And so me, Z. Yep. Uh, and then tips. Uh, what would you like to plug, my brother? Every Please tell us about your comedy. Month, like, every, Kaila. Yes. Let's go. Every first Thursday of the month, Kaila Michisanyama, Shampna has a comedy show. You'll never know who you'll find there. I, only, oh, I always I book two that. comics and comedians just rock up there and that should be your happy place. If you are stressed, you have a problem with taxi, you have a problem with basadi, whatever you have, come through there. We'll take your mind out of those, you know, vibes. Love it. Sure, sure. Love it. Dope. Well, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, cheese boys, cheese girls and the cheese gangs, uh, that's it from us, from the corn that pops. And the cheese that's great. We, we are, are Robo Pops. Pops. And just like the dates for Tips' show, go to my pizza. Shampoonizer Comedy Show. Shampoonizer Comedy Show. We are out. out. <laughs> Thank you, gents. Robo Pops. I'll be some cheese girl and my cheese boy there. 
We motivate, then we laugh as well. Stay on brand, never hard to sell. Got real chats, now my LOL. So we both got gang and we blessed as hell. See a Jala story. Pitting on my guest, a nice and moy. You and my bundles, not of joy. Said it's in pop pops and robot boys. Corn and cheese. Yeah.